What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? This is Serene Bean. Welcome to another episode of eBay slash Macari Game Deals Unboxing. The series I started up because I wanted to show you guys that, yes, you can game hunt online. It is not hard at all with a little bit of patience and know-how. You can find that you're getting deals better than you can out in the wild sometimes. Beef up your collection and make a few bucks on top of that. I get people all the time telling me they don't have flea markets, they don't have yard sales. You don't necessarily need those if you know how to hunt online. This is a very special episode. We only got one package, as you saw from the thumbnail, but this package right here is something that I have wanted in my collection for the longest time. I've never found one at a deal that I felt justified in paying. This is that deal. Hopefully, this is either going to be one of my best Macari finds or it's going to be the worst. Sit back and relax. Let's open it up. Right, guys so just like always i put the price that i had paid on this that was ship no fees uh this is 230 dollars. that is a lot of money to buy one item but as you're going to see from what this item is i am very excited about this i'm nervous because i only have three days which is why you only see one package i only have three days if there's an issue to open up a case with macari and get it back this was described in good condition there was only one photo that <laughs> it can go either way if this thing is what it should be this is a phenomenal deal right here sometimes it is okay to splurge a little bit i would have loved to have found one of these for five dollars and a bin at a yard sale but that is most likely never going to happen so i splurged a little bit and that is okay because as you see when we open this up 230 dollars is a hell of a deal for something like this i'm nervous and i'm excited let's open this thing up here uh first let me see here it's it's it feels slightly loose i hope i really hope it's packaged well um this is oh my god hey, this is this is this is making me nervous guys um i'm really hoping because i want to spend a lot of the day just just playing this and now i will say the reason that i got it for 230 this was listed at 275 i think it was on there for like a month Macari periodically sends you coupons that you can use 5%, 10% off. I can't remember what mine was, maybe like a 5 or 10. And I sent them an offer. I said, would you take 240 or I, no, I think it was 230 initially. Declined the offer. I sent 245 and he accepted. So yeah, it would have been a 5% coupon. Now 5% is not that much, but when you're getting something big, it does help. So I ultimately paid $230 for this right here. At 275, it's a good deal. So let's see what we got. Oh my god, I'm I'm excited to be part of this club. And this is a very limited club right here. A lot of people just don't have one of these. Oh, I'm trying to be very careful and you'll see why. Alright, guys. Oh, my hands are shaking. I'm nervous. It is packaged. Uh he's using that styro. Oh god, I can see it already. Are you ready for this, guys? Are you ready? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Look at this. Look at this. It is packaged well. And, oh, this is another selling point. As you can see, it is a Turbo Graphics Express in the box. Plus, it had this. This is not a common item to have with it, which is the TV tuner. If you know the Sega Dream, or not Sega Dreamcast, but the Game Gear has their TV tuner. They don't work anymore, but the novelty of it is very awesome. Oh, my God. I'm excited to open this thing up. Of course, we have to test it, though. Let's see what kind of condition we're in. There was only one photo that always makes me weary. All right, here it is. The box, probably like a five to a six out of a 10, but not bad. Nothing else in the package there. Look at this, guys. Oh my God, oh Lord. Oh, look at this. It looks good. It looks great. You can play turbo graphics games in your the palm, like, Hopefully you can hear the excitement in my voice for this. I have fell in love with the turbo and oh, it's got the styrofoam. Oh my God, it is. Oh, it, oh, does it have the inserts? That would just blow my little mind. All right, I'm trying to be super careful. Slide this out. Anything else in the box? There's no obvious rips or tears or, or crunches. Seems to be pretty well taken care of for that box. That's gonna make such a beautiful display. All right, let's see how the unit itself looks. Oh, 
Oh, look at it right in front of me. I've never seen one of these things in the wild. Tur anything Turbo Graphics is very uncommon on my side of the globe. Oh, look at this thing. It's heavy and big, but look at that. Apparently there's a mod where you can take this whole, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that. If I ever come across another one, I might, but there's no, there's no scratches really. The screen looks in very good condition. How many batteries does this thing take? Is there any corrosion? No. Oh my God. I, I feel very happy with this purchase. Six, how many double A batteries is that? Like six? God almighty. All right, guys, we'll have a quick cut. I'm going to get some batteries and I'm going to grab one of my favorite turbo graphics games and we're going to test this thing out and see, was this really worth it? All right, guys, so I'm back. I got the batteries. Let's open this thing up and, and load it. It's going to have some real weight to it once we get all these batteries in there. And now it doesn't have the inserts manuals, but with the actual styrofoam, oh, that's, that's just awesome. I think that is very cool. Now, I, from what I understand, the Turbo Expresses can have capacitor issues, if I'm not mistaken, much like their console units. Um, so I may end up replacing the capacitor just to be on the safe side, and it could cause them to have low sounds, dim screens, much like you would see with a Game Gear. This is the reason I bought a Turbo Graphics console in the beginning. If you end up getting a Turbo and you only get a couple games, which is like me, get this game absolutely amazing this game is phenomenal it's just so fun to be walking down and blasting things with shotguns in a 2d side scrolling game all right here we go Jeez, i'm nervous i am so nervous oh we're in i don't even know okay there's the power i've never even used one of these did it cut on i see the screen I don't see anything on the screen. Is there a contrast? The brightness isn't doing anything. That's got me nervous. All right, hold on. Let's try this. Let's blow out the card, blow out this unit. All right, let's put the game back in it. Oh, it's not loading up. I am nervous now. I see the brightness is not doing anything. Not one bit. Is this thing defective? I mean, you can see that the screen is on, but the game is not loading. The brightness is not doing anything. I don't see the screen dimming or getting brighter. All right, let's do a jump and let's make sure I'm not skipping anything I don't know about. All right, guys, so I did a little research and my conclusion is this thing is bad. This is the sucky part of these videos. And we have encountered things that are broken before. This is one of them. Now you'd be, you may be thinking to yourself, well, open it up and fix it. This is where things could get iffy. What if I can't fix it? It could be something as simple as a cap issue. Um, I'm not too sure. I've never worked on one of these things before. But it will not load a game. I've tried another game. It didn't want to load that. And the, the brightness doesn't want to work. So that usually is an indicator that there is cap issues. I could open this up now and then try to change out the cap, but I'm just going to send it back. I'm going to open up a Macari case and send it on. There's nothing that I can do with it. It sucks. It really does. This is a phenomenal deal. I would just be worried about being stuck with a dead unit that I couldn't do nothing. I'm, I don't know. I, I got to see what they can do with it. Um, I don't think Macari has an option like eBay where they can do a, like a partial refund. I would be happy with that considering he sold me a defective unit listed in good condition. While there is an option to list something as parts or repair, oh, this, this is a downer. But you know what? That's the good thing about these videos. Like I said, this is either going to be one of my best finds or it's going to be one of my worst Definitely leaning on the worst side scale, um, but that's okay. At least it's documented that I've I've won cases like that before simply by having these videos. Um, so I'll send, I'll package it right back up the way he had it and open up the case if he wants to fight it. Well, I'm guarantee Macari will be in my favor on this one. So, anyways, guys, this is a big downer. Like you can tell that I'm upset. I really wanted to play this thing. It looks awesome, and I could most likely fix it, but. What if I can't? Then I'm stuck with it, and probably parts, is it's probably worth that. I don't know. I'm, I'm still on the fence about what I want to do. Um, I'll message the person and see what they say and see where we go from there. But anyways, guys, 
I'll keep you updated in a vlog episode, my next one, that lets you know exactly what I did with this unit. Uh, if it won't, actually, I'm working on that console mod on the old Turbo Graphics console, so probably on the vlog after that, I'll let you know. And who knows, we could we may see this in a future vlog, or we may never see it again. But anyways, guys, this is the risk you have to take when it comes to buying something. But understand, with any platform, Amazon, eBay, or Macari, there's usually no issues in returning something they are they have your back most of the time now i'm sure there are rare instances where they won't but seller protection is definitely favored over or i'm sorry buyer protection is is definitely favored over seller protection 100 percent. so don't be scared to buy some anytime i buy something at risk it never bothers me knowing that well it's the only thing that it's going to hurt is my time and if it does pan out and work out well then I end up with something amazing and I thought I did and I may still have I don't know let me know in the comments what you would do with this unit would you keep it would you try to repair it at the price that you got it at or would you send it back let me know in the comments and we'll figure it out guys take care enjoy the rest of your day